My name is Morgan Pratchett. I'm a researcher at James Cook University working on coral reefs. I decided to become a marine biologist because I have a passion for the natural environment and I really enjoyed going diving and was always really amazed by coral reefs. The main topic of my current research was revolves around disturbances to coral reefs, so that ranges from things like climate change and coral bleaching through to the effects of craniform starfish. So crown of thorns are a native inhabitant of coral reefs, but the problem is that they periodically undergo these major outbreaks where you get a lot more crown of thorns on a reef. They also eat the coral, and so when you've got lots and lots of coral eating crown of thorns, they reduce the coral cover really, really quickly. At the moment, we're documenting the, what we refer to as the fourth major outbreak of crown of thorn starfish. We don't know whether there were outbreaks way back in the distant past. We don't really know how often or how frequent there have been outbreaks. But we do know that these outbreaks have a devastating effect on coral reefs. They don't only occur on the Great Barrier Reef, they occur throughout the Indian and Pacific Ocean. At the moment, um, the best, di most direct action we have to control crown of thorns starfish on the Great Barrier Reef is to actually go out there and inject the individual starfish. This is incredibly time consuming and doesn't have a huge effect when there's starfish spread across the entire extent of the Great Barrier Reef. At the moment, it's estimated that there's probably between two and six million crown of thorns starfish on the Great Barrier Reef and so it's a huge task to try and eliminate them one by one. What we need is a better understanding of why outbreaks occur and so then we can address the fundamental causes of outbreaks. And at the moment it's pretty unequivocal whether that might be caused by things like excess nutrients or too much fishing. And so there's a lot of research in this area still to do. I do have a real interest in one particular group of reef fishes and those are the butterfly fish. They're interesting because they're one of the main groups that actually feed on corals and so they have this really direct reliance on corals. Butterfly fish really respond to changes in the amount of coral following major disturbances such as the recent coral bleaching. And for example, you, you can actually lose nearly all the butterfly fish on a reef once the major corals disappear. A lot of my work is based in the field, so I do spend a lot of hours underwater on coral reefs around the world, but it's invariably backed up by time in the lab and also analysing data, I spend a lot of time sitting at my computer. So I do spend a lot of time underwater and unfortunately the Great Barrier Reef isn't as spectacular as it once was, but there are really nice places that we still go to, not only on the Great Barrier Reef but all around the world. My favourite place at the moment to dive is actually the reefs just off Townsville where there are some places with not only very high coral cover but also lots and lots of different species of fish. Mm -hmm.